So Stephanie, you just came from a presentation where you talked about how to effectively display data and you were really focused on simplicity. So when you talk about simplicity in regards to the, the visual display of data, what do you mean? Good question. So usually it means taking out what some people would refer to as the chart junk like unnecessary grid lines or tick marks or maybe maybe we can take out some of the labels. Maybe we don't need every single label on our axes. Um, any of those things that can, maybe even taking out some of the color so that we end up with sort of a fresher canvas that we can then use to go back in and add some emphasis so that our, our key message comes across. Right. And we're seeing that, I think there's, there seems to be a strong influence um, positively and negatively from what's happening in tablet design and, and smartphone design. Um, certainly Apple is moving towards a much simpler, flatter kind of display of, of data and information. Is, some, is that something you're in favor of? That Generally speaking, yeah. I mean, I think everybody sort of feels that Apple leads the way in terms of what clean design looks like. Um, although I heard somebody earlier today, uh, one of the keynotes, say that, uh, that now we're moving back toward more decorative stuff and we're coming full circle again. So who knows where it, where it actually ends up. But what the research shows us is that um, people are better able to understand things that are a little bit cleaner. That flashier stuff um, takes a lot of cognitive energy to get into and a lot of people really aren't willing to give that. But on the other hand, the, the, that technology and things like PowerPoint and Keynote allow for uh, a lot of animation, a lot of uh, drop shadows and stuff like that. So it's almost sort of like a box of chocolates, like it's too tempting mm -hmm. not to reach inside and go sure. for the cream filling, right? Yeah, of course, of course. It is kind of tempting. And there are times and places where that sort of thing is acceptable. I'm not going to say to never use a drop shadow. Sometimes it really makes sense. Um, but that the times when it does make sense, uh, that requires some education. We kind of have to, we have to have informed design principles behind these things so that we don't just go kind of freewheeling. Because then we end up with stuff that's over-decorated that people can't understand. Right, so with great power comes great responsibility. That's right, and, that's yeah, right. right. So are you seeing that uh, with the tools that are available now, with the designs that are being popular now, that people are getting better or worse at conveying information in a concise, clear way? Oh, I think it's a little bit of both. I see so many great examples of awesome design that's out there, um, especially from people who have become informed about what research says design should look like. Um, I see people who don't exactly have access to that research who end up making things like 3D exploding pie charts. Right. So I think it's kind of proliferating in general. Um, hopefully we can lean it more toward the good. And what would you say, if you had to say three things to somebody that was saying, you know what, I, I really want to get better at this, what would, what would you do? What would you say? I would say first keep in mind simplification and then emphasis. That if you follow those rules and you think, what can I simplify, what can I simplify, you're going to get to a really good spot and then think again about what you can bring back that would emphasize. Maybe you put an action color on one thing. Um, I would also say to keep in touch with what's happening out there in the world, like on Twitter or on blogs. There are so many awesome design and data visualization blogs these days that show you exactly how it should be done. So really, really clear, crisp examples. Um, yeah. And you, you suggested in your talk, too, that you don't go with the defaults for PowerPoint, right? Like it's a bit of a, a bit of poison there in terms of what you could should do. It is. That's true. I mean, if you think about it, we can instantly recognize those things. Mm -hmm. You instantly recognize that as the default Excel template or the default PowerPoint template, and that reflects back on the designer. What the research shows us is that that overall look reflects back on the person who's doing the speaking or the author of the report or the maker of that ad, and it makes them look generic and default, which is not exactly how we want to come off. You know, it's sort of like the the duck hitting the computer with the mallet, right? Like. <laughs> We've seen it enough. It's time for the healing to begin. That's right. right? Yeah. That's right. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.